And so initially what I will do is uh, I will give you a brief uh, account on the common university entrance test. And after that, uh, you can electronically raise your hand if you have any questions, any clarifications. I will unmute you and uh, you can ask your questions. The idea behind this interaction is that uh, we would like to make the students and the stakeholders um, very clear about uh, the common university entrance test. And uh, I'm sure uh, you are the perfect medium uh, and you can explain it very well to the uh, stakeholders. As you know, there are 45 central universities um, which are funded by the UGC. And some of these universities, about 14 or so, they were conducting earlier their own common entrance uh, test. Um, but however, all of you know that the national education policy um, provides uh, the opportunity to conduct the common entrance test, common university entrance test, basically to reduce the burden on the students and the universities and the colleges. And in fact, the entire uh, uh, education system. Um, we believe that uh, as envisaged in the national education policy, the common university entrance test, CUET, it will provide a common platform to get admission in all universities and uh, uh, colleges across the country, colleges which are affiliated uh, to the university. Uh, the CUET should provide equal opportunities to candidates across the country from different uh, educational boards, and especially those uh, who are from the Northeast part of our country, and those who are come from the rural and other remote areas of our country. Um, the CUET is expected to reduce the financial burden on parents and students, since uh, students do not have to write multiple entrance tests for admission in uh, UG and PG programs. This is one of the uh, most important reforms as part of the NEP 2020 that UGC is now implementing across the country. Uh, for the academic session 2022 and 23, the common university entrance test will be conducted by the National Testing Agency, both for the UG and PG programs. All higher educational institutions uh, irrespective of whether they are state universities, private universities, or deemed to be universities, all of them can use the CUET scores for admission in UG and PG programs. However, it may be noted that admissions in the UG programs in all central universities funded by the UGC um, will be based solely on CUET scores, and it is compulsory for all the central universities to use the CUET scores for admission into the UG programs, undergraduate programs. For PG programs, many universities, uh, central universities also are um, willing to use the CUET uh, score. Um, you know, the CUET will be conducted in 13 languages, Assamese, Bengali, English, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, and Urdu. Um, you know that NTA has already been conducting JEE and NEET um, in these languages, and there will be uh, no questions on uh, uh, aptitude testing. Of course, there will be a general uh, test that the students have to write. Um, as part of CUET, um, we have decided to give wide choice to the students to pick up the subjects. Uh, for example, a candidate can take as many as six domain subjects in addition to uh, a compulsory language uh, test and also the general test. And CUET will be conducted in 23 domain specific subjects. And out of these 23, um, a student can write in six domain subjects. And they have to compulsorily write one test in one of the languages. And also they have to write the uh, general test. One important thing that I would like to inform all of you is that the CUET, it will not affect the, uh, the existing admission process 
in the universities in terms of the existing reservation policy um, as per the provisions contained in the ordinances or regulations of the respective uh, universities. All that we are saying is that you need to use the CUET scores for your admissions. But however, the admission uh, policies of the university, which vary from uh, university to university, that will remain same, that will not be uh, affected. Um, meaning that, uh, it, let's say in certain university, uh, the uh, certain percentage of the seats are reserved for the local students. Um, it will remain for the local students. Those percentage of seats will remain uh, reserved for the local students. The only difference is that um, the local students who are admitted to this uh, percentage of seats in that university, they will also come through CUET. And the students who are admitted in the general seats will also come through CUET. So uh, in terms of the reservations, it, the CUET will not affect the admissions. And um, we have also decided that the CUET will be exempted for admission of international students in Indian universities, and they will be continue to be admitted as per the existing practice the universities have, which is uh, on a supernumerary basis. Um, for the PG programs, many of the universities are also uh, joining the uh, CUET. So we hope that all the universities, all the central universities uh, will ultimately make use of only CUET for their uh, PG programs also. Now, what about the PhD programs? For the PhD programs, um, one can use uh, the net score uh, or the, uh, the net, the national entrance test conducted by various uh, other organizations. Um, and the universities can decide to take the best of the net scores uh, when they apply to the universities for the admissions. And in those uh, universities where there are particular subjects, where there are no uh, net examinations held in those subjects, the universities can decide to conduct an entrance exam in those particular subjects of the PhD programs. Uh, they can decide to conduct an entrance examination. However, if the students are selected to throw the net scores, then only interview will be conducted as per the 2016 PhD admission regulations, only interview will be conducted. But however, if the university decides to conduct an entrance examination for PhD admissions, then uh, the 70-30 formula will be used, 70% for the entrance examination marks and 30% for um, the interview that the university conducts. And um, uh, what about the professional programs, MTech, for example, MPharm, or even BTech uh, programs that the universities are conducting? Um, the universities can continue to admit the students in their MTech programs, MPharm programs, um, on the basis of uh, this course obtained through um, grad graduate aptitude test in engineering gate examination. And similarly for BTech uh, admissions, if they are using the JEE common counseling procedure, or if they are using JEE scores, um, uh, they can continue to do so and admit uh, the students in their professional programs. However, there is one important thing that I would like to inform you for skill-based and professional UG courses, undergraduate uh, courses uh, such as uh, fine arts, music, theater, um, we are saying that the practical examination or interview may also be conducted by the universities along with the CUET scores uh, as per their existing practice. They may assign <clears throat> a certain percentage of marks for this interview and practical examination in these specific professional programs such as fine arts, music, theater. Um, and then the remaining percentage will come from the uh, CUET scores. So um, the individual universities can also decide on the minimum percentage at the uh, 12th board examinations as the eligibility criteria for admissions in the uh, PG programs. Different universities may have uh, different uh, board examination marks as a criteria, and that will be completely left to the, uh, the, the choice of the universities. Um, there will be no centralized counseling for admission. 
universities uh, uh, may conduct uh, their own individual counseling on the basis of the merit list um, prepared based on the CUET scores provided by the uh, NTA. So in summary, all that I'm saying is that uh, the admission process of the university will not be affected uh, even if they are using the CUET score. And for all the central universities, it is compulsory to use the CUET score uh, for admission in all the undergraduate programs. And for PhD, the admissions are made through net score or by conducting the university can conduct its own entrance examination. And for all the professional programs such as MTech, MPharm, um, BTech and so on, you can continue to use the existing uh, uh, scores from different examinations such as GATE and JEE. Now, let me also tell you that uh, uh, tomorrow we'll be posting uh, a public notice about uh, the common university entrance test and it will also appear in, in all the newspapers uh, day after tomorrow. And NTA will also post um, the complete details on the structure of the common university entrance test on their uh, website. So we are requesting all the stakeholders to visit the NTA website uh, for more details on uh, the uh, structure of the undergraduate entrance test uh, for the admissions in the universities. So um, the other thing that I wanted to uh, tell you that uh, uh, the syllabus for the CUET uh, for the UG admissions, it will be uh, mirrored with uh, class 12th uh, you know, syllabus and the question papers will be based on the model syllabus of NCERT for uh, class 12th only, okay? Uh, so therefore, it is um, very clear to the students um, what uh, syllabus they have to study. They have to look at the NCERT syllabus uh, for class 12th only. And um, different boards may have different allocations of the uh, concepts as present in the NCERT syllabus. Therefore, um, the candidates will be given an overall choice in, in, in all these sections. The structure of the test papers for the CUET um, will be designed such that uh, it offers greater flexibility to the candidate in terms of choosing the languages and um, also the domain uh, subjects. So it will have section A, uh, section 1A and section 1B. Um, which focuses on languages. Section In section 1A, there will be 13 languages. Uh, as I mentioned, Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Urdu, Assamese, Bengali, Punjabi, Odia, and English. And the candidates have to choose any one of these languages. And this is compulsory for the candidates uh, uh, to choose. But however, if they wish to write in an additional language, in section 1B, there are 19 languages that we are offering um, in section 1B, and the candidates can choose uh, um, uh, any, any of these languages uh, from this. For example, French, Spanish, German, Nepali, Persian, Italian, uh, Arabic, Sindhi, Kashmiri, Konkani, Bodo, Dogri, Maithili, Manipuri, uh, Santali, Tibetan, Japanese, Russian, Chinese. So these are the 19 languages we are going to offer in section 1B. Uh, in case a candidate wants to choose any other language apart from those 13 languages that we are offering in section 1A, uh, they may choose this uh, under this. And then under the domain specific subjects um, uh, where the candidates can choose six domain subjects, we are offering 27 domains. Um, I will not read out those. We will be putting out um, all these uh, domain subjects uh, in, in NTA website. But just for your information, um, these 27 uh, domain specific subjects, they include, for example, accountancy, uh, bookkeeping, uh, accountancy with computer accounting. So one uh, domain subject, biology, biological studies, biotechnology, another one, business studies, chemistry, computer science, economics or business economics, engineering graphics, 
entrepreneurship, geography, history, home science, um, knowledge tradition practices in India, legal studies, uh, commercial arts, mathematics, physical education or NCC, physics, political science, uh, psychology, sociology, teaching aptitude, agriculture, mass media or mass communication, anthropology, fine arts or visual art, arts, sculpture or painting, uh, and uh, performing arts, different performing arts such as uh, dance, drama, theater, music. Um, so, and then the 27th domain specific subject is uh, Sanskrit. The candidates can choose any six out of these uh, domain subjects. And NTA is planning to conduct uh, the uh, common university entrance test in uh, two shifts. So if a candidate is writing uh, one language, two domains, uh, domains specific subjects and one general test, um, it takes about uh, three hours, 15 minutes to three hours, uh, 30 minutes. The actual time will be decided by NTA. And um, if the candidate chooses to write any other four domain subjects um, out of the six applicable, um, and then if they want to write one language out of the uh, 19 languages that I have mentioned, uh, so four domain subjects and one language, uh, it will take about three hours, uh, 45 minutes in the second session. So candidates can sit both in session one and also in session two. There is no need that candidates have to write all the six domain subjects. They need to see in which universities they are going to um, uh, take admission or apply for admission. And then in their university, in the university websites, they need to see um, in which domain knowledge they would like to use the CU80 scores and accordingly choose uh, any of the six domain subjects. And then the candidates write uh, the CUET in those uh, domain uh, subjects. So we hope that uh, uh, with the introduction of the CUET um, across the country, large number of universities, uh, apart from the central universities, will use the CUET scores because basically looking from the student's point of view, they will be writing only one single entrance test for uh, admission across the country, uh, whether it is in a local university or in a central university. And this is bound to uh, uh, make things much easier for the students uh, in terms of not undergoing a lot of stress um, because they have to prepare for different kinds of uh, entrance examinations. And as I mentioned here, um, the questions will be based on the NCRT syllabus in plus two standard. So therefore, uh, uh, we hope that uh, the introduction of CUET will be adopted by all the universities across the country. So this is a brief information that I wanted to give you about the CUET. And if any one of you would like to ask any questions, please feel free and um, raise your hand electronically. Then I will mute you, unmute you. Right. So let me go to Katyaini first, and uh, I will uh, ask her to unmute. Katyaini, please unmute yourself. Katyaini, could you please unmute? Yes. Hello. Yeah, please Hello. go ahead. Uh, so, just want to know if any university wants to give weightage to class 12 score, will it be allowed? Uh, not in the central universities. In central universities, the UG admission will be solely based on CUET score. So, there is no weightage for the plus two. But for the other universities, it's up to them. Okay. Okay. So let me now go to uh, Aniruddha Sharma. Could you please unmute yourself? Sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Sir, Namaskar. Sir, ye, uh, do cheeze janna tha ki ek jo AMU, Aligarh Muslim University, aur dusra 
ये जामिया मिलिया इस्लामिया ये भी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं क्या इन पर भी ये समान रूल लागू होंगे जिस तरह की कि ये आप जिस तरह से कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म की बात कर रहे हैं एक और दूसरे ये कि दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में ही जो सेंट स्टीफेंस कॉलेज है वो भी अपने वो उनकी जो अपनी प्रक्रिया थी वो पहले भी दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी की प्रक्रिया से अलग थी तो इन दोनों चीजों को आप बताएं एक तो जामिया मिलिया इस्लामिया और एम वाला और दूसरा सेंट्रल सेंट स्टीफेंस कॉलेज दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी का देखिए पहले मैं जो बताया कॉमन यूनिवर्सिटी एंट्रेंस टेस्ट फॉर यूजी एडमिशंस ये तो सभी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज को कंपलसरी है और देखिए फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट इज मच बेटर फॉर ए स्टूडेंट टू राइट सी यू टी एंड गेट एडमिशन सो दैट इज वाई फॉर ऑल सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज इट इज कंपलसरी और जो आप कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट कॉलेजेस एफिलिएटेड कॉलेजेस के बारे में जो बताया uh, जब ए मेन यूनिवर्सिटी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी डी यू यूनिवर्सिटी तो सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी है जब सी यू सी यू ई टी कंपल्सरी है डी यू को भी बिकॉज इट्स ए सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी डी यू का कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट कॉलेजेस जो है एफिलिएटेड कॉलेजेस जो है इनको भी सी यू ई टी कंपल्सरी होगा uh, लेकिन uh, इस विषय पर जो यूनिवर्सिटी uh, है इनका स्टेट्यूटरी बॉडीज में वो डिस्कस करेगा और इसको इम्प्लीमेंट करेगा और आपने माइनॉरिटी का माइनॉरिटी इंस्टीट्यूशंस के बारे में भी आप बताया देखिए माइनॉरिटी इंस्टीट्यूशंस में कुछ सीट्स माइनॉरिटी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए रिजर्व किया होगा वो रिजर्वेशन में कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सी यू ई टी स्कोर्स को यूज करे तो हम सिर्फ यही कह रहे हैं जो सीट्स रिजर्व किया आप माइनॉरिटी स्टूडेंट्स को नहीं तो आ, कुछ यूनिवर्सिटीज में जैसा विश्व भारती यूनिवर्सिटी में दो स्कूल्स हैं वो स्कूल्स में बच्चों जो पढ़ते हैं प्लस टू के बाद इनको यूनिवर्सिटी में एडमिशन मिलता है तो विश्व भारती जैसा यूनिवर्सिटीज हो सेंट स्टीफन कॉलेज जैसा यूनिवर्सिटीज हो जो सीट्स रिजर्व है लोकल स्टूडेंट्स होगा नहीं तो रिजर्व कैटेगरी होगा वो सीट्स को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बट एडमिशन फॉर दो सीट्स आल्सो विल बी बेस्ड ऑन सी यू ई टी एंड फॉर ऑल द जनरल सीट्स सी यू ई टी इज एनी वे कंपल्सरी आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ लेट मी गो टू मानस जी कुड यू प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर राइट सर Uh, two questions i have to ask uh, uh, whether the private universities if they want to can join cu et and uh, one technical question is about the nine, uh, the 19 other languages mm -hmm. if my understanding is fine those other languages are domain specific so that if anyone any student want to study in france okay. they can actually they have to take that exam as well as one more language which is a compulsory language and the domain you are absolutely right uh, manish Uh, as you said, if somebody wants to take, uh, uh, you know, UG in French language or German language, uh, they can write those uh, papers. But one paper from the thirteen languages that is compulsory. And as far as the private universities, in fact, um, we will we will be very happy whether it is a state university, private university, or deemed to be university. If everybody adopts CUET, because you see. national education policy is being implemented across the country and we are all part of um, the single educational uh, you know education landscape so we want everybody to be on board with cuet and use the cuet scores for admission in their universities right so now let me go to prashant nadda ji nanda ji could you please unmute yourself sa uh Good afternoon. Uh, so I have a couple of questions. One is, you said uh, that uh, at the UG level it is mandatory for all central universities, uh, but at the PG level perhaps the universities has some amount of uh, options to whether they want to go for it or not. Uh, the question is, uh, uh, has other state uh, universities? I'm sure they must be in touch with you. Uh, who are the other states, or how many other state universities? 
have, have already expressed their view to be part of this exercise because as you have rightly said it will reduce uh, the effort of students as well as the universities uh, to, uh, to to appear for an exam and get selected the second point is you said there is no uh, common counseling sir uh, if you look at uh, uh, when you aspire to reduce redundancy in terms of the processes a uh, common counsel counseling is, is a great asset uh, you know the that the je part and the iit system uh, so when are we expecting the common counseling to happen perhaps because that will reduce if there is any vacancy in smaller and the newer university system and third so uh, when are you going to the uh, when the pg uh, common test going to be mandatory for all central universities sir right right now very good questions um you know informally of course uh, i am talking to many heads of institutions uh, whether they are private or uh, state universities um they have shown keen interest to use uh, cu 80 scores but now that through you will be informing everybody the actual structure of the cu 80 um uh, i am sure there will be uh, uh, you know a lot of interest among the universities to be part of the cu 80 and we will also be contacting the heads of the institutes to motivate them to be part of uh, uh, this cu et by the way uh, the cu et application form will start on nta website sometime in first week and um, then we are uh, expecting that the cu et will be conducted in the first week of july so that uh, the scores are ready for the admission process uh, in the universities and as far as the common uh, counseling is concerned you know we have a uh, uh, lot of diversity uh, in our country and we would like to wait for this year and see how things will move forward and then uh, as you rightly said if you have a single common counseling it will reduce further the burden on the students instead of applying to multiple universities um, we will definitely take your suggestion uh, and and see if such a thing can be done um at least among the central universities to begin with right let let's go in steps and as far as the um pg admissions are concerned again here uh, some universities have very specialized subjects in pg so therefore this year we are saying that if there are common subjects in all these central universities we will conduct a, a common entrance uh, test but however if there are some specialized subjects um either the university can conduct it or like jnu does they can use the nta services and conduct a separate exam for those specialized subjects but in future because see technology gives us a lot of flexibility even if there is diversity we can include those uh, uh, diverse subjects also in the pg entrance test and have one uh, cu et even for the pg so perhaps that may happen next year right Uh, Prashant Nanda ji, uh, could you please unmute yourself again? Yeah. yeah, sir. I have a small question, a uh, sort of clarification rather. Uh, you said that uh, in the UG level at central universities, uh, the class twelve board marks will not have any weight. It will be purely through the entrance examination. Is it a conscious move, knowing that what happened in the school system in the last two years? and most of the education has happened from home and there is several questions of whether it is fair enough to score 99% whether it is a just atmosphere to score that much is it the uh, the, the environment that prevailed in last two years prompted you to take this uh, decision because generally we believe that class 12 is is a very important uh, lab, uh, uh, life, life event for any student if you are not giving any weightage to the class 12 marks then i'm sure you must have thought through it so uh you're right uh, prashant ji not using uh, class 12 marks is not a new thing for example in all iit admissions um, we use jee score to admit the students that's primarily because of the diversity of the boards that we have and the different kinds of evaluation systems that we have same is true with the university admissions also and that's the reason why we are giving one standard ncert syllabus so everybody can prepare from there and you have a common reference ground and compete with uh, rest of these uh, students and then get admission so that's the reason why uh, we have decided to go for only cu et score for admission in ug programs 
Okay, right. So let me now go to Ritika Ji. Could you please unmute yourself? Good afternoon, sir. Ritika. Uh, yeah. Sir, just a couple of things. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I wasn't able to understand. First, sir, you mm -hmm. said that the uh, entrance test will not affect any reservation that is made for minorities in minority institutions. Right. But at the same time, admissions to those seats reserved for minorities as well as general category has to happen through CUET, right, sir, if I'm not mm -hmm. wrong? Is mm -hmm. that correct? Mm -hmm. right. Okay, thank you. So the second thing that I wanted to check was that... But, uh, uh, Ritika ji, yes, sir. Uh, yes, this sir? also I said that it is the individual central university which will discuss which, in the category right. for this, for the minority right. component or for the reserved component right. uh, and, and then decide but ideally, because the mm. general students are coming through CUET, the mm. ideal situation would be for the reserved seats also, if they come through CUET, that, that would be the best thing. But you're saying the final call rests with the statutory bodies of the respective universities for their constituent colleges, if right. they are minority. Uh, you know, they, they, of course, have to decide in their statutory bodies, but if the central university um, for the central university, if the CUET is compulsory for UG admissions, right. then the constituent colleges, affiliated colleges also have to use the same uh, uh, benchmark. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. therefore, in order to facilitate this, the statutory bodies of the university have to adopt this and right. make it part of their rules and regulations. Okay, so that means, sir, that opting out is not really an option as far as central universities are concerned. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So my second qu uh, clarification was, I'm not even, so there is section one, which is mm -hmm. a 13 compulsory languages, and you have to take one out right. of them. Mm -hmm. The one B is 19 languages, if at all you want to stu uh, huh. study a domain language. Right. So, baad jo hai, apart from these two, I need to write another four domain. Is that compulsory? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, not no. able to understand. After that, after that, see, I need to write at least one domain subject. Right. Okay. Let's say I'm, I want to join in BA economics somewhere. Right. So out of these 20 domains, 27 domains, economics is uh, one domain. So okay. you write. But okay. if you want to uh, uh, take admission in some other domains also, so hmm. you can write up to six domain subjects. Okay. okay. So that way, the choice for you is increasing because you have a CUET score in six different domain subjects. So you can approach hmm. different universities uh, hmm. in those domain subjects and, and then uh, you can get admission. So, so this is six in addition to section 1A and B or after? Yes, four? yes. Uh, section 1A language is compulsory. Right. And the domain out of 27, you choose up to six domain subjects. Hmm. Hmm. And section 3 is the general test. The general test is... Uh, uh, for all candidates who would mm. like to, for example, appear in any such undergraduate program being offered by a university um, um, where a general test is being used for admission. For example, um, in uh, JNU language programs, um, they use a general test to admit students in the uh, uh, UJ programs. So mm. it is quite possible that in some universities, they just want to use only the general test a score to admit in various domain subjects. So hmm. we are this choice also to the universities. Right. So the exam will be held in two shifts, sir. The first shift will be, uh, what will the first shift be on, sir? Right. So in the first shift, uh, you will have uh, um, the section 1A. Right. And then uh, you can write any two domain subjects out of 27. Right. Okay. And then if you wish to write, you can also write the general test for, right. you know, for admission in programs such as vocational uh, uh, programs or cross stream programs or any other general program, you can use this uh, CUET score as part right. of the general test, right? And this the second is, shift, sir? And in the second shift, we are planning to have um, the student can take any of the four domain subjects right. uh, out of 27. Okay. If the student okay. has already taken, uh, you know, two in the first shift, the right. student will have the choice to do up to four domain subjects in the second shift. Right. And then if they want to do any language, uh, you know, program, UG program, 
Hmm. Um, they can then choose out of these nineteen. Um, right. They can write a test. I'm so sorry, sir. I just want to quickly get this right. First shift, section one A, ah. general test, and two domain subjects. Second shift, you if you want to write for an additional four domains. Mm-hmm. plus if you want to attempt that language right you are, you are absolutely right so let me just uh, um, summarize that in shift 1 you will have one language plus two domain plus one right. general test right uh, right and in shift 2 you will have mm-hmm. four domain subjects plus one mm-hmm. language if you if you wish to write if i wish to write okay. all right thank you so much sir i appreciate right. but we will put all these uh, details on the nta website also later so this will include the date sheet as well tomorrow when and whenever it's up um that nta will work out the dates and, and, and then they will put it out and uh, just wait for uh, a week or so it will come out all those details will come okay thank you sir okay uh now let me go to uh vanamudra could you please unmute yourself yeah go ahead Uh, nice to meet you, sir. I connect later. Uh, sir, uh, are you any change uh, being made in the UGC? And uh, all states want to change the uh, higher education system. Uh, what decision is made on this, sir? Look, we have to national education policy. Ko, ah, uh, ah, uh, whole country implement is doing. और इसमें बहुत हैं इंग्लिश 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 प्लीज टू टू इम्प्रूव द एजुकेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स एज यू नो वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड वी आर इन डिस्कशंस विद ऑल द हेड्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट्स एंड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स आल्सो एंड एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस रिफॉर्म्स एन ई पी एनविसेजेस द कंडक्ट ऑफ ए कॉमन यूनिवर्सिटी एंट्रेंस टेस्ट सो एज पार्ट ऑफ दैट Uh, for admissions in uh, july 2022 23 we are going to conduct a common university entrance test it's one of the very important reforms uh, that uh, ugc is implementing which is part of the nep 2020 so today we have called this meeting to discuss uh, the details about this uh, cuet and uh, we said that cuet Uh, is compulsory for all ug admissions in central universities but however any university across the country can also use this cuet scores okay ji right so now let me go to katyayani she has another question katyayani yeah yes sir uh, so just want to know this means many students change their stream after 12 so what if first science student want to uh, study humanity so uh, what is the system for that fills entrance exam right uh, um katyani as you know mm-hmm. nep says that uh, uh, we need to encourage multidisciplinary education right and most of the universities are gearing towards that so again it is part of the admission policy of the university mm-hmm. and the admission policy of the university says that i can admit a btech student in electronics in ma economics mm-hmm. um that process will continue or if a university says uh, in ba economics we want to admit students from uh, you know plus 2 uh, who have majored in maths and science Uh, it is up to the university all that we are saying is that use the cuet but a uh, continue or modify your admission processes in tune with the national education policy so sir uh, if a student who is of pcm uh, group he mm-hmm. wants to give uh, exam for history honors or political science honors so how he will choose the entrance exam right so the student has to visit uh, Uh, the university website and see what are the uh, uh, what are the qualifications that the university is asking let's say i am doing ba in history if the university says that even if you have science or uh, history or, or other some other background you are eligible mm-hmm. to apply then the student can write uh, uh, that particular domain subject and then write okay uh, so it is left to the university we are not changing the admission process of the university 
we are only asking them to use the cuet score in 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 whichever possible manner that they would like to use but our belief is that since most universities are now looking at implementing the multidisciplinary education uh, i'm sure most universities may come up uh, with the admission policies which help the students to study across the disciplines okay okay thank you sir um let me go to sunil ragoji sushil ragoji please unmute yourself ah uh, namaste sir namaste ah uh, sir uh, aapne kaha ki common counseling nahi hogi to jaise delhi university mein bahut sare college hain to ye college ke star pe counseling hogi ya university ke star pe counseling hogi ha dekhiye uh if a university has its own constituent colleges affiliated colleges it is for the university to decide whether they want to have for all those colleges a common counseling or they want to continue with the existing admission process but use only cuet score and if you are saying for all the central universities whether we should have common counseling we are saying at this time we don't have any such common counseling individual university will follow its admission process okay right um let me uh, anirudha i will come to you basant mohanty ji could you please unmute yourself please go ahead basant ji Okay, I'll uh, Basant ji. Can you hear me? We are not able to hear you. I will come back to you. Um, there is uh, here um, uh, Juvaria. Juvaria, could you please unmute yourself? I'll come to Anirudha ji. Just wait. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Right. Uh, I just want to. Um... ask how this would how do you think this would impact competition uh, you know in terms uh, students would write uh, the university test for one university um, now there's one test for all universities so uh, like it has done with neat people say it has increased competition do you think the same impact will happen over here and uh, what how do you think it will affect the students if 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 the competition increases like that because of the cvt right ha huh. um i know it's it's a very good question let's say there is a university located in a district headquarters and let's say only the local students apply there they write cuet and then they submit their cuet scores to the university they make a rank list and then they admit in the local university right because mostly only local students are applying so their admission process will not be affected but they can use the cuet score instead of using uh, uh, you know some other means of admitting the students and um, now if if there are national level universities such as central universities um and uh, um people want to get admitted you know in a university like uh, du or jnu people apply from across the country and that will still continue and providing opportunity to more students is it not a welcome thing to happen if more rural students write this common entrance exam if more students from the economically weaker backgrounds they write this common a uh, university entrance test and if they get admission in a place like jnu or du or some of the top central universities is it not a positive things to happen uh, so therefore um, i only see that um, cuet will provide a wider option uh, to the students especially those coming from remote areas from economically weaker sections uh um and and rural backgrounds they will have a better opportunity to gain high quality education so i think all of us should welcome this uh, thing right uh juveria would you like to unmute yourself is that okay oh, yes sir okay um, thank you hmm. yes sir yes. right so let me go to aniruddha sharma ji sir सर दो चीजें केवल क्लियरफाई करनी थी एक तो ये कि जब सी के स्कोर से ही सारे एडमिशन होंगे 
और अगर यूनिवर्सिटीज को अपना क्राइटेरिया तय करना है एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन वाला जो जैसे ट्वेल्थ के कोई पर्टिकुलर नंबर तो मान लीजिए कि पहले कट ऑफ आता था उस तरह से अगर यूनिवर्सिटी अभी भी 90 परसेंट का एक फिगर तय करती है कि तो ये अधिकार उसको होगा कि वो 90 परसेंट का फिगर या एबीसी कुछ भी जो तय करे ट्वेल्थ के क्राइटेरिया के तौर पर देखिए जनरली हम यूनिवर्सिटीज में क्या कर, क्या करते हैं कि स्कोर्स के बेसिस पर हम फर्स्ट लिस्ट निकालते हैं और इसके बाद कुछ स्टूडेंट्स नाइन ज्वाइन किया और वेकेंसी है हमारा यूनिवर्सिटीज में यूनिवर्सिटी में और हम सेकंड लिस्ट को लाएंगे थर्ड लिस्ट को लाएंगे फोर्थ लिस्ट को लाएंगे सो अंटिल वी फिल अप ऑल द सीट्स वी कैन डू दिस फर्स्ट लिस्ट सेकंड लिस्ट एंड थर्ड लिस्ट एंड सो ऑन बट इवन आफ्टर दैट इफ सम सीट्स आर वेकेंट द यूनिवर्सिटी कैन यूज एनी अप्रोप्रिएट मीन्स टू फिल अप दो सीट्स सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर सी और दूसरा सर इसमें एक चीज और समझना चाहते थे कि आ, कोई भी आ, एक मान लीजिए कि इकोनॉमिक्स बी ए इकोनॉमिक्स ऑनर्स में लेना है तो ये तमाम यूनिवर्सिटीज में अवेलेबल है तो उसका क्या कोई इसमें तरीका आ, दिया जाएगा कि कैसे जैसे इस वक्त बी टेक के आ, उसमें जेई के स्कोर में बी टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस लेना है तो वो छह आई में है तो उसका जो पैटर्न होगा लगभग वही पैटर्न यहाँ पर भी होगा सी सेट में स्टूडेंट्स नाउ थैंक यू um i think uh, we have answered uh, many questions and i would like to thank on behalf of ugc all the friends who have joined here and asked uh, so many important questions thank you and uh, goodbye until we meet namaste namaste